So we're in Nassau. We're got a big list of stuff to get done today. Starting with uh, reprovision, clean, and what are we doing there, lady? Laundry day. <laughs> <laughs> Go get it. Go for it. Hi, we're Josh and Tamara, and this is our 46-foot sailboat, Tanutai. We're a couple Canadians that traded land life to become full-time cruisers. Over the past year, we've been working tirelessly to get her ship shape and ready for new adventures on warm, crystal blue waters. Join us every Friday as we bring our 01 boat back to the 21st century and have a lot of fun along the way. Thanks for being we a part of our know. journey. <laughs> Bahamas experience You could find true romance So much to see, so much to do Island boys glad to have the chance to share it with you Junk a new beach. We're gonna take a little stroll around here and check it out. We're out. We're out. Just leaving Nassau. We're going through this last anchorage here, and we're going to take pop out of the cut and pop right out into the ocean. Yep. And where are we going to? We're headed to the Exumas. Yay. So we're going to Allen's Key today. Uh, there's a bit of an easterly coming our way, so that's going to provide us some good protection for the next three days. And there's a ton of great stuff to see there, so it's going to be a good, uh, a good little adventure time, I think. I'm excited. Me too. Yeah. Let's get going. All right. Chart. Maybe it's better on this chart. 
All of those little asterisks, those are marked bombies. So there's a lot of them. It's like going through a mining field and we just have to check to see if there's any that aren't on the chart and work our way around them. But the water is so crystal blue and we are getting into a bit shallower depth. We're down to 13 feet of water all around us and it's gonna get down to about seven, eight. So like I said, a little bit of a stressful area that we're going through right now, but once we're through this, we should be in good shape and everything kind of spaces out again after that. Black out there, but that's a bomby. That's what we're looking for right now going through here. It just looks like a big black tar right in the middle. And it's, uh, they really stand out. So we're taking turns. We're just coming up on the bow here, getting bounced in this little bit of salt spray and looking for, I guess, marine life and bombies. Feels really good. I dove on the chain, anchor, boat, <laughs> anchor chain, and we're plowed in the sand real nice. It looks awesome. It's actually kind of cool that there's this weird pattern in the sand, and I'm like, it looks like someone drove a truck around in here. It was weird, but it was because of our chain dragging across. Mm -hmm. It made like tire tread marks. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it was really cool. Neat. Yeah, but I backed on it really hard, and then you could tell it, it pulled for quite a while before it actually hooked yeah but it's hooked in deep cool and, uh, it's good and then i just jumped in here have a little cool down again and uh there's a bunch of little fishes like little dories swimming around our boat so <laughs> just keep swimming yeah just keep swimming it's cute awesome, awesome. that's a nice spot yeah can't wait to go play around tomorrow yes yeah. so we are safely anchored in alan's key right now and we're going to be here for the next couple of days. This is our first stop on the island chain of the Exumas. And apparently there is a key just over there that has tons of lizards on it. So we're going to go check that out tomorrow. There's all kinds yeah. of stuff along here, actually. This is a really, really cool little spot. There's mm -hmm. tons to see here. So I'm excited about that. Yeah. Can't awesome. wait to go snorkeling tomorrow. Yeah, that's going to be wicked. Yeah, so wicked. All right. <laughs> Let's get uh, settled up, and okay. relax, and enjoy the rest of this evening. Good morning, everybody. Say good morning to the nice people. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to the office. This is the office. So we are uh, woke up this morning in the Exumas and uh we got lots of exploring to do today we're pretty excited there's a lot of really cool stuff here and this island chain is 365 islands and k's that go south so our uh, goal over the next bunch of weeks is just to slowly pick that off and look at cool stuff the whole way down this morning we're both just doing some work out in the cockpit and enjoying every minute of it it's pretty just awesome a cup of coffee computer starlink we are really roughing it. Here. We are, yeah. It's so cool. <laughs> so cool. You know, we're making making power. Our uh, electrical woes have kind of subsided a bit. It was good. We got a good, got the batteries reset when we were in Nassau, and they seem to have held through the night not bad. But we will be upgrading those uh, at some time in the near future to some lithium, I think, just to help with our power requirements so we're not uh, uh, so hampered by them. But for now, we are absolutely enjoying this morning.
morning, everyone. How's the commute? <laughs> we went that in from NASA, okay? Yeah. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. It's a great way to support our channel. And let us know what you think in the comments section. We love hearing from you. If you'd like to show a bit more support, hit us up on our Patreon page for tons of extras and real-time weekly updates. I'll pop the link in the description below. Love you guys. Okay, we got a little bit of a different adventure dinghy time going on here right now. Baby, is there room for me in there? Lots of room right here in the princess seat. <laughs> <Come> on, princess. <laughs> all right, let's do this thing. Mm -hmm. So there's all these little kind of inlets right across from where Hanu's parked right now. So we're going to head on over there and drop the anchor. There's very little current and just a nice light breeze coming on the water. So it should be pretty good. It's about 15 to 20 feet deep and there's tons of coral heads, so we're hoping we're gonna be able to see some wildlife down there and- Marine life. Yeah, it'll be Wild cool. Wild marine life. Wild marine life. Look at our bird, he's flying. Look at our boat, it's beautiful. Hey, Hanu. It's so clear. <laughs> you ready for this, baby? Come with me. I am. I gotta get. I only have one flipper on. I know. Okay. I'm busy checking you out. Mm -hmm. Is it pretty? pretty? Yeah, pretty coral here. Awesome. All right, here I come. This was an absolutely spectacular place to stop for a quick snorkel. This is called Long Rock Key right along here. It's marked on the map as a good uh, shallow reef diving spot, snorkel spot. Uh, lots of really fun fish down in here. Not as many as we saw at the other one, but a huge, beautiful, protected, nice little bank right in here. Cove. And my little fish just can't get enough. <laughs> my goggles kept fogging up, so I had to come back in to put some toothpaste on them, of all things. Helps to stop the fogging. I didn't know this, but uh, I'm going to give it a go. I'm back in the water.
pretty high already. There was a huge barracuda in there. I was watching him the whole time. And then I shot this little sucker. Wicked. <laughs> we were, um, there's this great big round coral head in there that's just teeming. I can't see right now. I gotta go this way. It's just teeming with wildlife. And so I was trying to get down deep and take a, some pictures of the fish in there. And then all of a sudden I saw these great big long tentacles in there. And I'm like, baby lobster! <laughs> ah, oh, you caught it. Nice. You didn't catch it. You killed it. <laughs> and not that size. No, he's good. That'll be a good dinner. That'll be a good dinner. Thanks, yeah. buddy. Woohoo! Woohoo! Woo! Baby, got a lobster. Baby, we're eating lobster tonight. <laughs> yeah, we are. Slap it. Oh, that's so awesome. Are you super excited? <laughs> <laughs> oh, awesome. Super pumped. Uh, Way to go, green babe. Lobster for dinner. Yeah, we are. Yes. process our catch of the day. We did a quick YouTube video to figure out what you're supposed to do with these things to make sure you get the most out of your lobster. Mm -hmm. Let me help you. Thank you. Taking your Dexter outdoor knife and, and what you, do you do? You stick it right down into his tail. Oh he's still twitching. <laughs> and then you cut around like this so it goes right down into the head meat. There's two ways you can do it. The other is to um, just twist him and just rip his head off. This way you actually get a little bit more yield and get more of the meat. Awesome, look at that. Can you reach? Okay, Here, give me rinse. that. <laughs> I'll stick that right there for now. Okay, and now what do you do? So now, what we want to do. Get that little bit out yeah. there. That's yucky. Yeah, pull that yucky bit. Look at all that lobster meat. Mm -hmm, so the other yummy. thing you do, is we break off one of his antennas. It's got reversed barbs. And we stick it in his bum. Like this. That way. Mm -hmm. And then we pull it out. And then it actually will pull out. You gotta pull that. His and grab it. Yeah, intestinal tract with it. Yeah. That's the yucky part. That's the gooey part. And now it's done. That's it. She's... And now we've processed your yummy lobster. Look at all that meat. Yum. That's better, baby. Oh, I'm so excited. That's a pretty decent sized tail. Yeah, it's good. Nice tail you got there. Thanks, baby. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> okay. Let me get me a plastic bag. I will. Put him in there. We'll go throw him in the... The fridge. Fridge. Awesome. Hey, chef, are. what have you decided? We're making lobster mac and cheese tonight. So I am going to steam this sucker right now i've already chopped up some broccoli because we're going to make a some broccoli sprigs in there we got, broccoli. we got the pasta ready to go and we're going to put it together like a little casserole and bake this sucker with some extra cheese so to cook this guy i'm going to go like this and do just a quick steam quick steam is going in the pot there and it looks gorgeous but that's gonna go in there with that and then bake it it's gonna be like that what's your secret sauce here captain well, i just created a bunch of monterey jack in there and now i'm gonna put in this uh truffle parmesan black garlic seasoning which this stuff is epic it's unbelievable it's tasty, tasty. <laughs> we put that shit on everything. We really do. <laughs> now I have to dice up these beautiful, that's a lot of meat. That's it is a lot of meat, that's awesome. So look at all this meat pulling out of here. Look at that. I think you should just cut a little snitch off it so we can just taste it. Absolutely, we should. Yeah. Oh my god, that tasted so good. So good. <laughs> I don't want to put it in the mac and cheese now. 
Really? Yeah, it was really yummy. It was. But that mac and cheese. But that looks really good. <laughs> this is gonna be so good too. All right, cut up the lobster. Okay, ready? We're doing it. Oh my god, that tasted so good. So good. <laughs> I don't want to put it in the mac and cheese now. Really? Yeah, it was really yummy. It was. But that mac and cheese. But that is looks nice. really good. <laughs> this is gonna be so good too. All right, cut up the lobster. Okay, ready? We're doing it. Ugh. This is an intense dinner. I'm so excited. Pepperinos. We got pepper, just put some parm on top. And now, the last little thing. <laughs> the crunchy bits. <laughs> the crunchy bits. Oh, dinner. Holy cannoli. Okay, that should do it. Sorry guys, we were so excited about the lobster mac and cheese, we forgot to film any of it. But you're gonna have to take our word for it, it was absolutely epic. Thanks for following along. Join us next week when we continue down the Exuma chain and see what it has to offer.